Welcome to ResNexus. Today I will show you how to design an email using the Email Builder in ResNexus. To get started, you will select Marketing in the left-hand menu. This will open your marketing dashboard. Select the email tab where you would like to add an email. If you would like to create a newsletter, select the Promotions tab. Then click Add New. Here you can select if you'd like to start with a blank template or select a pre-designed template. In this tutorial, I will show you how to build your own template. Select the blank builder template. Once you have selected your template, you can enter in your email subject on the email subject line and select the date and time you would like this to send out. You can also enter in your email to receive a notification of the recipients who received this email. This is also where you will change your email background color. You can also refine your list of who you want this email to send out to by clicking the Refine My Recipient List checkbox. Then select the restrictions you would like to apply to this email and make sure to click Save at the bottom of the page. You are now ready to create your email. On the left hand side you have a list of components for you to use in your email. To add a component, simply click and drag it into your email. To rearrange your components, you can click on the icon in the top left hand corner. Hover over the arrows icon, then click and drag the component to where you would like. To remove a component, click on that same icon and click the trash can icon, then confirm. To add an image to the image component, click on the default image. You can click to add an external image or click on library under source to select an image from your library. You can also upload an image by clicking on upload files selecting the file from your computer, and clicking Open. Then select the image you would like, and click Apply. You can add a border by clicking on the image again, and selecting the Layout tab. Then select the border type from the drop-down menu. You can also add a link to the image if you would like. To add a header to your email, simply click and drag the component into your email. To edit the text, Click into the text component. Type in the text you would like. To change the style of the text, highlight the text you would like to change. This will open up the header settings if you're using the header component. Here you can change the overall style of the text by using the drop down menu. You can also choose from a palette of five colors plus white, gray, and black. You can edit your five color palette by selecting the pencil icon. But be aware this will change the color for all other templates where that color was used. We recommend setting this palette up with your properties theme colors and not changing them after that. You can also bold, italicize, underline, add bullet points, and change the alignment of your text. You can also change the font type by selecting a new font from the drop down menu. We have provided several email provider approved fonts to choose from. You can change the font size, character spacing, and line spacing by using the sliders. You can also add a link to the text by clicking on the link tab at the top. We have provided the links on your booking engine in the one of my pages section for your convenience. You can also link to an external website or an email address. Then click apply. These changes can also be done in a text component. Simply click and drag the text component into your email. Click on the text to add your desired text. Highlight the text that you would like to change and it will open up the text settings. You can also change the spacing of the component by clicking on the cog wheel in the top left hand corner. Click on the advanced tab. Here you can change the height of this component. You can also adjust the padding by clicking on Show Padding Options. Here you can adjust the left padding, right padding, top padding, and bottom padding by using the sliders. You can also adjust the position by clicking on Show Position Options and changing the top vertical offset, bottom vertical offset, and outer margins of the component. To add a border, click Show Border Options and select your desired settings. You can also use available tags which are shown on the right side of the screen. These will pull information from your system to include in this email. As shown in my email, the tag your name will show your business name 
that is set up in business information in settings. You can add a button to your email by clicking and dragging the button component into your email. To edit the button, simply click on it. This will open your button settings. Here you can select the type, style, color, and font color. You can also choose a different font style by clicking on show font options. You can add a border by clicking on show border options. Then, at the bottom, you can edit the text inside the text box. You can also change the padding and the width of your button. To add a link to your button, click on the link tab at the top. Here you can select a link to your booking engine, an external website, or an email address. Once you've made your selection, click apply. You can add in social media icons by adding in the social icons component. To edit the social media links, click on the link that pops up. This will let you select the style of icons you would like to use. Then click the advanced options to add in your social media links. To remove an icon, simply remove the link. Then click apply. Other components we offer are a picture and text next to each other. You can choose to swap the columns by clicking on the icon in the top left hand corner and selecting Swap Columns. You can also choose to copy the component by clicking on that same icon and then clicking the paper icon. We also offer custom one, two, and three column components. These can be used to put multiple pictures next to each other, text in multiple columns, and to add buttons next to text or pictures. Make sure to click Save Email at the bottom of the page often when creating a template to make sure not to lose any changes. You can also preview your email by clicking on the Preview button on the top of the page. Once you are ready to send out your email, you can select the Approve Email to Send Out checkbox at the bottom. Then click Save Email. It should now show a schedule to send out in your promotion section. We recommend setting up an email to send out two hours before you select it to be sent. This gives the email time to queue up to send out. Once the email has been sent, it will show sent and the number of guests who received the email. You have now learned how to design your own newsletter using the email builder in your Resnexus system. Thanks for watching.